Hi there. We're going to install the uh, RP2040 on this Nintendo Switch Lite. And the reason we're making another video is because uh, I noticed that the ribbon cables here or the adapters are slightly different. They are, as you can see in the video there on the picture, now they have some little holes, so they're different. In a way, they're better. Why? Because uh, that way we make less mistakes and I think it's easier to connect the, the solder. For this, we're going to go ahead and uh, pretend those points. So before we do that, we're going to remove this shielding from the CPU and the RAM as usual. And we are going to try to keep this very, very quick and simple. This is from factory guys, so you guys can see that. Look at the thermal paste. Slightly any thermal paste, there is some underneath <coughs> of the uh, this metal part, but we're going to be applying some good quality thermal paste on here. I'm just going to clean this up real quick. And then, um, and then I'll, I'll, I'll do. A, I'll put the thermal paste after. So let's go ahead and pretend this points. This is going to be it. So it's this one, this one. Let me just make sure. These two and the top three. Okay, so these two. I'm gonna make a little scratch here. This one here. Right. I also want to take the time to thank those uh, those of you that subscribe to our channel and uh, those positive comments. Thank you so much. So, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, pretend this here. We are going to be making other videos regarding uh, PlayStation Five. We've been getting a lot of them with uh, shorted motherboards. <clears throat> shorted ICs. Uh, we started doing some BIOS replacements on the PlayStation 5s, which fixes uh, a lot of issues on them when they don't turn on, but that's another video. We'll, we will uh, continue to make other videos. Let's go ahead and pretend this. Turn on the fan. We're going to do this one here. And then it was this two. And that's it. Now we are going to align the the flex cable here. So these are actually pretty cool. So that looks about right. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, I'm going to start on this side here, kind of secure that in place. Mm 
like so and then let me just make sure they're aligned properly that's one thing you guys got to make sure of these things have to be aligned really well so that's good they all line pretty good let's start by securing that flex cable again by All you gotta do is just kind of tap it, okay? That's good. We don't even need this here, but it'll be good for uh, support. Very good. Hopefully, you guys can see that there. Let's clean up that a little bit. There you go, so very well, very well, and now we get to do the uh, this side. So we're gonna go ahead and bend this, kind of line it up. I'm just going to hold it with my finger there with some flux make sure that your soldering iron is well tinned otherwise, otherwise you, you will have trouble okay that looks good <coughs> and now all we have to do is the flex cable here for the CPU by the way the chip that we're insta installing is an RP2040 it's a very uh, reliable haven't had any issues uh, with them So all we're going to do is line this up here. Use this to kind of push the uh, pins down there. Make sure that they're sitting properly. If you guys want to install this, I recommend just take your time. It's really not that hard, maybe even pra practice on other boards. Maybe like a, any other type of board, practice your solder before you <coughs> attempt to do anything. This is a nice piece of uh, technology, the Nintendo Switch, and I get a few every once in a while that I have to repair, but that's what we're here for. Anyways, let's go ahead and solder that. I like to hold it like this and just kind of rub it there one time. There you go, that's perfect. And that looks very, very good. We are going to secure the uh, FPC connector here real quick. We're not going to touch the other one. For the purpose of the video, we're just going to test the device. <clears throat> I will come back, cut a little bit of the uh, of the uh, shielding here. And what I like to do is kind of mark it with a pen or a sharpie or something like that, and just make a little cut right here. 
I can find my sharpie but I'll be cutting here replacing the thermal paste uh, with some quality high one maybe some uh, arctic silver and, uh, and just putting it back on for now we're just going to test it okay always make sure you have your device disconnected from the battery or the battery disconnected from the motherboard I'm getting some uh, double sided tape We are going to be putting it here, right on the edge of that metal thingy, because the uh, cover goes right over it. Okay, and then the uh, this will go right here once I cut it, of course, with the thermal paste. Again, this is a pretty nice and clean install. Let's go ahead and turn off the lights and plug it in. And uh, we can see the LEDs on there. And we can see the activity, okay? Let's go ahead and see if we don't need the battery. Sometimes we don't. There you go, now it's, uh, it's about to start glitching if it turns blue and then we'll eventually see it green. So uh, sometimes you have to connect the battery to get the chip to kind of charge or send the voltage. Sometimes you don't. With this one, I didn't have to do that. But uh, you don't have to plug everything back in. So right now, the, the, the system is glitching. Got some. There you go. So hopefully you guys saw that turn green. We can try it again, disconnecting it. Let me plug it back in. So it's glitching again. Maybe if I dim the lights. Yeah, that's maybe better. It kind of gets grainy. Anyways, that was green. The system is working fine. Thanks again for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. Visit our website, wayayeo.org. We are here to help you guys. And we actually do enjoy what we do. So it makes a big difference. Thank you guys for the support. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.